today is Miles of Style by Raquel Welch. The color is Shaded Golden Wheat. So before I begin, I just wanted to uh, tell you where I do buy my wigs, which is Beauty Nook. They are a brick and mortar shop in Indiana. They also sell online and have a website as well as an app you can download. I highly recommend you download the app as they do have live sales on there every Friday at 8 p.m. They also have a wig support page, the Beauty Nook Wig Support, on Facebook. I highly recommend that, especially for new wig wearers. Uh, lots of great information from seasoned wig wearers of information that is super helpful on how to make your wigs look more natural. And just any questions and problems you may have, you can usually find your answers there, along with lots of pictures of different wigs on real people. So let's get started. I love this wig. Okay, so Shaded Golden Wheat, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we'll dive into that color in a second. This wig, I'm going to give you the measurements real quick. Eight and a half in the front. The crown is 15. The sides are 13 and a half. Uh, the back and the nape are both 16. Keep in mind, wigs run a little bit shorter on me because I am tall and I have a long neck. My head size is 22 and a half. And with my bio hair, I'm much more closer to a 23. <laughs> I have shoulder length, very curly hair. My hair loss is on top. So this wig is regular synthetic, and I'm going to show you the cap. It's a left side mono part, uh, just a wefted cap. It has really good stretch. Um, like I said, my head is slightly larger than average. And um, that being said, I do think if you're a little bit smaller, it would be fine. The, the cap is just very stretchy. So here we have our extended nape. It's felt covered and very soft. We've got the Velcro pull adjusters, which are nice. Um, the ear tabs also very soft and have metal stays in them, which are nice. The mono part and the lace front. Raquel Welch always does a fantastic job on these lace fronts. Uh, this color, lace cinnamon, just beautiful. Not rooted, don't need it, won't miss it. And you can see the, the part there. Let me get my hand behind it. Oh, fantastic. So let me show you the front on this color. So they do, she, there are the lighter hairs here in the front so you don't get so much nodding. Very nice, I've done nothing to this. This hasn't been plucked. Very pretty. The color, shaded golden wheat. Now when I hang this up next to my Aesthetica um, RH1488 RT8, it's almost identical. <laughs> Honestly, when it's hanging up, I can't hardly tell them apart. It's not, um, it is warmer, thus, you know, golden in the name, but not overly so. And it's not yellow, it's just a really pretty, sort of a, I'd say a medium base. And then you've got these highlights kind of popping over top. So pretty. And the rooting is really, really nice. Not too, too dark. Um, really works well on me. I like lighter wigs and I, I have trouble with a real dark root. I can't do anything darker than about an eight. So this is really nice. It's a pretty color. Um, being regular synthetic, it's going to, uh, you know, be a little more sturdy, if you will, than say an HD wig, which is nice in a longer wig. I, I do like regular synthetic. And I did something really cute with this wig. Um, I put it on my headstand and I French braided it, leaving just, you know, a few pieces sort of around here. It was so cute. The density on this wig is, uh, it's a lower density, but not too low. You know, it gives you good coverage, um, but it's it works in the summertime. I've been, you know, wearing it already this uh, spring and summer a little bit. Like I say, I have three of them. Um, and I don't feel like it's too hot. It doesn't have, you know, any permatease. It lays pretty flat to the head. Um, I 
just really enjoy this wig a lot. So uh, with that new styling option, I'm pretty excited about it. So like I said, I may just sort of French braid it and leave it that way and then just pop it on in the summertime. It'll look cute with the t-shirt or whatever when it's real hot. So kind of excited about that. And I think that's about it. Really do like this wig. Now I am sitting in front of a window with some natural lighting, but it's cloudy, so I am using a ring light as well. So you might see a little bit of shine. Um, that's not what you're gonna see in, in more natural lighting. Uh, what I do like to do with my synthetic wigs is soak them about 20 minutes when I first get them, it kind of resets the style a little bit from traveling and will take off a little bit of shine. And then I just go very lightly over the top with brown shamp dry shampoo, which I get at Walmart. Um, another thing I like to use, I'm going to show you since I have it right here, is my bio hair is very, very light. And when I wear rooted wigs, if there's any right here, you can kind of see it. So I use a little bit of root powder. This is Clairol. I just, I purchased this, I think at Walmart. It's almost like an eyeshadow, really. It's got a little brush and you just go around your hairline and that really helps if you're like me and you have gray hair or very light hair to sort of disguise that a little bit. So I hope that helps somebody. Uh, again, my head is ar larger than average. So I'm hoping that my wig reviews might help uh, some women on their wig journey. I have struggled. <laughs> If a wig is snug on me, I get a headache. So this wig has a, a, a ton of stretch. But like I said, if you are smaller, slightly smaller than average, I still think this will fit you because it's just a really nice, comfortable cap that just happens to have a lot of stretch uh, for us bigger headed gals. So I hope this was helpful and I will be back with more wig reviews. I have a couple really nice wigs coming from the Beauty Nook that I'm very excited to review. I have purchased all these wigs with my own funds. Um, so the wigs that just came out that I've ordered are Zara Light and Julianne Light. So kind of excited to get those and see, you know, what they're all about. So check back with me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and we will talk again. Thanks.